No, this is not a screenshot. I got you. Why are you not laughing? I don't know. Anyway, uh, hello guys. Uh, I'm never saying hello in any of my videos. Anyway, last week I wanted to talk about Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes versus Celia Dragunov. But now the path to stand and deliver is way clearer and I think I love it actually. I love it. I never expected Tony D'Angelo to win against Carmelo Hayes, but you know what? I fucking love it. I fucking love it, everyone. And because I don't want to shout, I just whispered it to your ear that I love it. But uh, Tony D won against Carmelo Hayes with a little bit of a trick, if I can say that. And uh, it was satisfying. You know what? I'm really hyped to see Carmelo Hayes versus Trick Williams instead of Deliver, and Ilya Dragunov versus Tony D'Angelo instead of Deliver. I said what I said, you know? Stand and deliver. I'm really hyped about that event. I'm really grateful, actually, that we didn't see Carmelo versus Trick versus Ilya, because we kind of know that Carmelo is not gonna win this match, Ilya is not gonna win that match, Trick is gonna win that match. 100% is predictable, because Carmelo is now in on SmackDown, Ilya is kind of an old news, and Trick is the new hype. And that's why it's obvious that Trick was gonna win that match. But right now, it's we're in a completely different field. Like, no one cares who wins between Tony D'Angelo and Ilya Dragunov. I kind of want Tony D'Angelo to win because he's cool. And everyone cares about Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes because it's hype. And it, we are kind of sure that Trick Williams is going to win. And basically, Carmelo Hayes is going to just pass the torch and he's going to move to SmackDown, but I'm still hype, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it's going to be a really cool match, and a really short video as well. Yeah, basically, Carmelo Hayes versus Trick Williams is going to be like the Master Champa and Johnny Gargano years back, but a little bit more hype. Not that, you know, played, uh, because we were kind of fed up with the Master Champa and Johnny Gargano, but now, we have never seen Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams, and it's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Trick Williams is ready for the main event still, but uh, I'm really hyped to see what the passing of the torch is gonna be. Is it gonna be a feel good moment when Carmelo Hayes actually realized, hey, Trick is actually my friend? I don't know why I did him, I was too jealous, I was just looking for myself, and just because he's going to SmackDown, we're gonna have that some feel good moment. Probably not, we're, we're gonna have like good ass beating on both sides. And I'm really hyped to see when that passing of the torch comes up uh, to see Trick Williams versus Tony D or Trick Williams versus Celia Dragunov or something along those lines. It's gonna be really, really hyped. I can't wait for WrestleMania weekend. I can't wait because we're on that week, we're gonna have Raw, NXT, SmackDown, WWE Hall of Fame, WrestleMania Night 1, WrestleMania Night 2, Stand Deliver. Oh my goodness! It's gonna be really hype and really amazing and really wholesome. And I can't believe I just made a video how I'm saying for bajillion times the word hype, you know, and exciting and fantastic and stupendous. I haven't said stupendous even once, but you get the idea. Really hyped how they turn the events is all I'm gonna say, because on my last video you could see how I was envisioning it, but I like when things are happening not the way I expect it to be. Unfortunately, lately this is not happening a lot, so that's why I decided to make a video that uh, things did not happen the way I expected. Did you expect what uh, you saw the other day? Tell me in the comments, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.